Hello happy woodworkers and DIYers, Mayanna here with Heartwood Art and in today's Woodworking Basics series we're going to talk about center hole punch tools. Now why do you need a center hole punch? Well if you're going to be doing any precision drilling you want to make a little divot in the wood for the tip of the drill bit to catch and there's good tools for doing it and not so good tools for doing it. So let's dive in. Okay, we're going to do a close-up on the bench here so you can see all the tools and the kinds of holes that they make. Now, the thing about making a center punch in wood is most people just use the first tool or whatever they come across uh, to make that hole. And a lot of times that's going to be a Phillips screwdriver. You know, this is really not the best tool to use, and here's why. It's really important so you don't strip out screws. It's really important that the head of the driver goes deeply into the screw head. And you know, the more you hit on this, especially on hardwoods or whatever, it's going to blunt that tip. Plus, if you have cheaper screwdrivers, it's really not made to take the blunt force trauma of being banged on with a hammer and you could shatter your plastic or whatever. So try to avoid using your good screwdrivers uh, for this. Now another tool that may you may have around that's super cheap and whatever is a nail. And you want to get a pretty substantial nail uh, for this. I'll hold it up so you can see a little better. And 10 penny nail or whatever. Now some of these nails actually have uh, four sides um, depending on the nails. They may or may not be round but they're going to be sharp and of course they're meant to be banged on with a hammer. So let's do that. And I'm using a piece of pine that I pulled off a pallet piece of scrap wood so you really don't have to bang very hard uh, to make a hole in that. Now the thing that I don't like about this is to get it out you got to wiggle it so you're gonna make your hole just a little bit bigger not that that matters a lot but I really don't like the square tip on here because it makes a, a square hole. I know that's probably just impossible uh, for you to see but it makes a square hole and the tip of your drill bit's going to be round. So not necessarily my favorite tool, and but maybe that could be hard to find uh, too, laying around or dig out. Now the other thing, if you can't find a nail, is some kind of drywall or decking screw because it is going to have a really sharp point on it and it can definitely take hammering. So again, you don't have to hit it very hard and it's going to make a nice round point and it's not the tip of it. it's not really made to hold in the wood so well so you don't really have to jiggle it too much to get it out of there and make a decent hole plus uh, the threads on it are going to kind of stop you from going too deep anyway so you really don't have to jiggle it at all so if you're going to use something like this between the nail and the screw i'd rather use the screw uh, for doing that and hopefully you've got some of those round. Now this is an older tool. I got it from my dad. As you can see it's had a lot of use on it. It's called an awl and the tip of it is actually pretty blunt and it's even a little crooked on there. It's been uh, used and abused for I don't know 40, 50, 60 years or so but it's like a great big nail and you can see the head is meant to be hammered on this and this is exactly what you can use this tool for. Some people use it as a scribe and it's uh it's made to do this and it gives you a good place to hang on and protect your knuckles i like that better than just about anything now it's going to make i don't know if you can see this but it's really going to make a much bigger hole in there too so uh, the tip of your drill bit is most certainly going to find that so this is actually a really good tool and being so big and whatever it's probably going to be easy to find in your tool case. Now here's a more modern version of it. This is called a center hole punch. It's made of steel. You can bang on it for a hundred million years and it's going to look just like this. <laughs> you know, the only thing, and this one is really old. I probably got it from my dad too. Um, I don't know if this tip was ever pointed and sharp, but it's pretty blunt. And the thing about a blunt tip, it's just going to make a divot in the wood that tears through um, the wood fibers. So the other thing I don't like about it is it's so short I don't like having my knuckles anywhere near what I'm hammering on But you have to kind of hammer a little harder because it's definitely not a sharp point and basically what it made was a dent in the wood it didn't really make a hole but it's still enough for your drill bit tip to catch them now the other thing about using all of these, you have to grab a hammer 
something to hit it with. Now I'll hit it with wrenches and stuff. You can't hit it hard enough. But that means you got to dig out two tools to do this. Not with this puppy. I love this. This is an automatic center hole punch. It's got a steel tip on it that's tapered. It's sharp. And so it's going to make the perfect size hole and very precise for this. And you don't need another tool to do it. You just, you can lean it over so that you can get, make sure that you're dead on your little mark for making this and then just push. And there you go. It makes a nice deep uh, little hole for you. And it's real easy. I was using two hands, but I'm an old lady. It doesn't really take that much pressure uh, to do that. So that's fantastic. The other thing, it's got some weight to it. It's big, it's bright, and it's pretty easy to find in your toolbox. Too. So I love this. I never have any trouble finding it. Now some of these come apart in a couple of places so that you could if you wanted to, if the tip ever dulls out, if you use it enough, you can actually replace the tip. Yeah, if you have something like this, I've probably had this oh, 20 or 30 years um, and I haven't dulled uh, the tip out on it yet. So uh, and have fun trying to find a replacement. Right, because this is kind of a, I don't know, no name brand kind of a thing. So you'll probably just get another one if you ever do that. But the thing that might wear out eventually, I guess, is the little spring. And this is probably a common spring size. And you can get that. So that's for um, the pushing on it to make it punch, do the punch. And so if anything's going to wear out, that's probably going to be the thing. But like I said, I probably had this a good solid 20 years, if not longer, and it's not even close to being worn out yet. Well, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this woodworking basic tip. Be sure to subscribe to this Heartwood Art YouTube channel and come on over and visit me at heartwoodart.com for more tips, builds, and tutorials, and I'll see you in the shop.